And this is an amazing story of one man who was homeless, turned to art as a way of healing, and ended up meeting the Pope. Our next guest has an amazing story, so let's meet Daniel Mazzoni. Hey, Daniel. Hello, thank you for having me. Of course, welcome. You know, I understand you're in Canada. You split your time between Canada and the States. Why are you in Canada now? Uh, I came back of, uh, to Canada just because of COVID, you know, to spend time with family, you know, just in case anything had happened. I wouldn't want to be somewhere where I was stuck and not able to be with anybody. Great. Well, we're glad you're doing well. You look well. Thanks. And this Thank is you. really an amazing story. You, you were homeless at one point in your life. You're an artist. And yes. you now are world-renowned for your works. And you actually met the Pope. Tell us about that. Uh, well, uh, you know, the, the great thing about being able to travel and, and you know, the successes with work, you know, well, with the, that was also for a different charity that I had done. And uh, luckily enough, I got invited to meet the Pope, which was uh, an experience I'll never forget. But uh, it's just one of the perks of the jobs that's, that's been uh, really a blessing, for sure. Well, tell us how you actually went from being homeless to being a, a very successful artist. What's that journey been like? Uh, it, it was a, it was a tough, turf journey. I, I just think that uh, while I was homeless, I always thought that you know that wasn't going to be uh, you know the end of my story. This couldn't be the story of my life. So I really wanted to do something different with my life, and I had uh, I got off I got off the streets, went to school, and I thought I I needed to make money, and I uh, I became a mortgage broker, and I, I hated my job. I you know couldn't wait for Fridays, anxiety on Sundays. And I thought I needed something to look forward to that I loved every day. And I had done artwork from when I was a child. I did stained glass with my mother. She was a stained glass artist. And uh, it's not that I thought I would do it as a career, but I needed something to, to love to do every day when I got home. So I started doing it for fun. And, and uh, you know, someone had sold my first piece without really letting me know. And, and, it, and it sold for a amount of money that was... Uh, pretty decent where I, I thought, you know what, this is this is something I've always wanted to do, and I quit my job, and I, I, I never looked back, and I just really focused on it, and it just kind of exploded from there. Wow, and, and I know an important part of your mission really is giving back. Tell me a little bit about Screaming in Silence, which is a work that you did, and right. part of the proceeds from that benefit kids, minority kids who are interested in the arts. Right. Um, so every year, uh, my goal, my personal goal, I mean, it's, it's nice to be successful, but I think it's also um, not our duty, but I think it's an obligation for myself to, to, to give back, and I try and give back more and more every year. So every year, I donate uh, mostly for children's child charities, uh, you know, children in need and children in different countries. But now with everything that's going on in the media, I thought, wouldn't it be nice to help uh, as well inner city kids? Uh, but uh, but not just uh, but something that related to me as well. So I thought, wouldn't it be nice to uh, sell this print, which I'm uh, that w which will go live this Thursday, and um, they can buy it on my website. And the proceeds, uh, part of the proceeds from the the print, will go to paying for a scholarship to go to this uh, Parsons School of Design. So I I, I want to be able to maybe there's a genius artist out there that doesn't have the you know the funds or the means to get to this type of school. And uh, I, I want to be the one to help them, uh, you know, with the stepping stone. Because I had help along the way, and I think we all need a little bit of help sometimes. So if I have the ability to do that, this is my passion project. Wow, such a, such a wonderful outreach. Thank you so much, Daniel, yeah. and thank you for talking to us. And we'll look forward to seeing Screaming in Silence and making sure that we add to your outreach as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.